hi uh, it's been a while y'all i'm very inconsistent but it is what it is i'm a student i got like three jobs and i'm busy so i give y'all what i can no fast i don't care what you knew me in the past tense brand new jewelry styles ain't no last dance we pass it wait if you're new here welcome to my channel if you're coming back hi but as you can see by the title i'm gonna do uh what's in my gym bag because i don't think i've ever done a video like this and i think some people really just be doing too much i'm very simplistic because i work smarter not harder and i'm also like a lazier i'm not really lazy but like i just do stuff efficiently without being extra so i'm gonna tell y'all what's in my gym bag i actually just switched my gym bag this is my old one you see it's super dirty um and yeah i don't really believe in like washing this gym bag because it does have like these rubber parts on it um and i just don't feel like it'll get clean completely unless i scrub it and i'm not doing that so here's my new gym bag <clears throat> i got it in like this brownish tan whatever color um super cute I'm becoming a neutral girly. So, first let me tell you the specs of the bag. So, it comes with this strap. It is detachable. You can take it off. It attaches to the bag by these little hooks. I will put the link to this bag if I can in the description. But it's, like I said, it's Gymshark. And it's the, this is the small everyday gym bag I think it's called. And y'all. If they call this small, I don't want to know what big is, but it's a really great size. But anyways, back to the specs. So this is the bag, the strap. If you take these, if you take this like crossbody strap off, it does come with these two straps. And this, you can also, it's a Velcro like thing to close it. And then it turns into like a little duffel bag. And you could technically go like this, but I'm not doing that. I don't have time. I just throw this bad boy over my shoulder, walk to the gym, put it in the cubby, get what I need out of it, whatever. So that's the straps. Um, it has this front pocket. It's Velcro in the Velcro. Well, I swear I live and I swear I'm strong. But anyways, this is the front um, pocket. It has the Gymshark logo here. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's very minimalistic, cause I'm not no showy person. So, um, it's just a little opening here. Usually I have like some um, sour stripes in here because I like sour candy. And if y'all didn't know, candy is kind of good um, to give you that little bit of extra sugar that you need to give you a little tiny energy boost for the gym. But I usually don't need that because I take pre-workout. But There's also this little mesh compartment right here where I usually keep my one pair of Beats. Um, I have three pair of headphones. But that's just because of the type of person I am. Like, I'll let one pair die and then I'll go to the second pair and then I'll go to another pair. But these are my backup. That's that pocket. There's this pocket right here. Now, this is for shoes technically like this goes like all the way in like hold on let me stick my hand in there like my whole forearm is almost in there that's for your shoes or you know whatever you want to put in there i'll be throwing anything in here because i do what i want you do what you want you popping um so yeah there's that and then let me open her back up there is the main pocket which um has two zippers the zippers look like this you know gym shy logo on that um you open her up and you got a big compartment in there and then within the compartment you also have like stuff in there it's like a purse you know you got you got this little zipper compartment i usually don't put nothing right here and then on the other side you have these mesh like let me take this out you have like these mesh pockets right here 
I usually put period pads or tampons in there because you never know. You never know. I should honestly put a pair of underwear in my gym bag. I've never thought about that. But anyways, that's what this bag consists of. I love this bag. My friend um, bought me my first one for Christmas, like, I want to say two years ago. And this has been, like, my only gym bag since. So I finally replaced it with this one. So now that you see the specs of the bag, we're going to get into what is actually inside of my bag. Okay. As y'all can see, I got a Gymshark sweatshirt on. At this point, they need to, like, sponsor me. Like, no, I'm not famous or nothing. But... I feel like they need to be more inclusive. Like, come on, I'm a chubby gym girl. Why wouldn't you want me in your campaign? Be for real, be for real. Anyways, let's get into what's inside my bag. Now, I am not the most like credible person, but I do think that I'm a reliable source. I have been going to the gym for two years now or almost two years consistently um for the past like six seven months i've been going five times a week you know i'm trying to lose my stomach you know but that's a discussion for another video but that just goes to say that i feel like what's in my gym bag is reasonable and it makes sense like it's practical you don't need a whole bunch of stuff you don't need to be taking your whole life to the gym with you because you're not going to use it Okay, so, oh, also, there's a Gymshark logo at the bottom of this, for those of y'all who care. First, we have the barbell pad. My friend also got me this a few years ago for Christmas. It's a Suzy B Fitness barbell pad. The print is the same as the print out here. Really great. If y'all do hip thrusts using the Smith machine or a barbell, you need one of these unless you want to hurt your coochie bone or your pelvis bone and you want all that weight on bone babes get you one of these best thing ever i've tried the method when i was one of those stubborn gym girlies who didn't want to like use one of these i did try and use like a hoodie or a sweatshirt but baby it still hurt it still hurt my pelvis was bruised you don't want that directly on your bone so Barbell pad. Next, I have a pair of shorts, a neutral pair of shorts. That's just in case, you know, what if I bleed through my shorts or something or get something on them or if they rip. There has been many instances where I've had scrunch leggings, you know, the ones that's supposed to like flatter, like be flattering, make your booty look good because it like go up the crease. Baby, there's so many pair of freaking scrunch leggings that I have ripped and it's not like my butt is huge but I have like a bigger bottom side like my legs are big but like the seam this I mean the scrunch just be ripping like I'll sit wrong or like sit quick or something and it'll just rip so I always have a backup <laughs> pair of pants I don't usually bring another shirt because I usually have like a jacket or a sweatshirt on over my shirt and it's just not a lot of instances where I feel like I would need to change my shirt. Like if I get water on my shirt, okay, I sweat through it anyway, so yeah. Next, I have this gator, which goes on your face, you know, like, you put your, you put it around your neck, but I'm just showing y'all like, you know? Yeah, because I'm somebody who like really don't play when it comes to germs, especially post COVID. Like at work, I still wear a mask every single day because people are disgusting. So I bring this just in case somebody is in close proximity to me and they're being disgusting. Like if they're hacking up a lung and they're not covering their mouth and I just feel like I need to be safe. So I always have this with me because I'm not playing. Next, I have this resistant band. I got this in a pack off Amazon, I'll put the link below. Um, really love resistance bands, they're actually really great. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the ones that's like open, it's not like a inf infinity loop, infinite loop, whatever. Um, and I use this mostly on upper body days to stretch my muscles before I work out. So I literally sit there, I go like this, I do like these, 
can I just sit there? I usually stretch for three to five minutes. And I know it's three to five minutes because I use my watch. Every single day I use this watch. I love the Apple Watch. If you don't have the Apple Watch, I don't know what you're doing. Resistance bands get you some. Link down below. Next, I have these headphones. These are Beat Solo. Solo 3s. Um, I got these like years ago. They came with my iPad for free. Still in my bag just in case. But I really don't use these. But Next, I got ankle straps. So, I got two pair of ankle straps. And this is because I don't pay attention. I don't pay attention. And I really just be wasting money that I don't have because I'm not rich. I'm really a poor student. I'm a poor college student. But... These are ankle straps that my friend got me when she got me that barbell pad, but I didn't realize it until after I bought these off Amazon. So that's why these are clothes, brand freaking new, and these are not. But anyways, ankle straps where you want to do your um, glute kickbacks. You can also use these. I've seen people use these on their arm. It was weird, but like these are great. If you're trying to grow your shelf like me, teach you some. Teach you some. Next. I got wrist straps. Got these off Amazon. Also, I'll put the link down below. I think wrist straps are so essential when it comes to lifting heavy. If you are somebody who is trying to just be a muscle mommy, or if you're a man, I don't know, you should get some of these, especially if you care about your hands. Now, me, when I first went to the gym, I did not invest in like anything. When I tell y'all, I just went in there with a water bottle and face, I really did. My hands would hurt so bad. Like I would be doing like RDLs, squats, or whatever with some heavy weights, right? Some deadlifts, some some whatevers. And my hands would hurt so bad. And I would always get callus right in these two fingers. I mean, I still do get callus, but they're not as bad. And they, honestly, they go away. Like my hands are so soft. My hands are soft, okay, baby butt. It's giving, like, smooth. My hands would hurt really bad. So this kind of is, like, an intermediate for your hand in the metal that you're using to, you know, exercise. Also, it helps because your hands are not as strong, well, at least mine. My hands and my wrists are not as strong as, like, my upper body is. So if I'm lifting, like, 70 pounds, my hands gonna give out. So these help because it gives you like a, like a little bit of extra security, like you wrap it around the weight and you hold it, you know? These are great. Get you some. They got cute colors, but like I said, I'm a basic girly. I'm really not a girly girl. Like, don't give me nothing pink. That's all that's in my bag. But like I said before, if you're a girl, you should honestly put you some panties in your bag. Put you some underwear in there. Put you some underwear. And I have deodorant in my car. So if you guys don't have a car and you just travel with your bag, put some deodorant and some lotion in there. But I, like I said, I keep everything else in my car. Everything else that you could possibly need in your gym bag is in my car. So I'm always set. But I'm gonna add underwear in here though, for sure. But that was it for this video. That's all that's in my gym bag. If you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, or don't, it's whatever. But yeah, so again, thank you for watching. My name is Samari. And I'll see y'all in the next video, whenever that is. So, bye.